Tinubu Cabal confess P2B won 2023 election. INEC did this. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. There is nothing hidden under the surface of the air that is not going to be revealed on a very special day. Paul Tinubu felt he can connive and collaborate with Professor Mahmoud Yakub, being the Independent National Electoral Commission Chairman and he feels he's going to go scot-free about that. Yes, you can hide whatever conspiracy you can connive and buy off the election on that election day but the truth will be revealed and of which p2b and atiku abubaka took it upon themselves they have exposed bola metinimbu to the fact and even to the point where independent national Attack commission has indicted themselves now due to non-proper way of sharing the funds and the bribery feed in bola metinimbu's archive now his cabal one of his cabal has now recently exposed him he has now exposed him as, and revealed exactly what had transpired in the last presidential election. How they worked with Independent National Electoral Commission, how they did this, and how they connived to the fact whereby 18,088 blonde results that was spotted in the IRF was transferred. P2B's votes were just laminated, and all were transferred to Bola Metinimbu, and all were transpired. Now, he has revealed that Bola Metinimbu never saw this coming. All the supporters of, the, of Bola Metinibu and APC, they never saw this coming. For kind of like, the APC has always stood to, in, in their firm and they are stating that they, have, they are the highest, largest political party in Africa. Yes, even if you are, though it has not been proven, what is simplifying the fact that you are transparent in all your electoral process? Look at virtually all the elections conducted by Independent National Electoral Commission, despite the money they collected from the federal government to conduct a free, fair, and credible election. All elections are now revolving back to the judiciary. Almost all candidates are now in court, trying to retrieve back their mandate simply because you conducted and gave allegiance to fraudulent candidates with a certificate. Now, guys, look at this particular document and exactly what has transpired, how this prominent man has now revealed exactly what transpired in the last presidential election and how he has exposed Bola Metinimbu. Yes, in his exact way, he stated it outrightly. P2B, not Tinimbu, won the 2023 presidential election. A former secretary to the government of the Federation, Bim Babache Lawal, said in Abuja on Tuesday that the candidate of the Labour Party, P2B won the February 25th presidential election and not Bola Tinimbu as declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission. A lot of persons are started to be curious and inquisitive of knowing the exact revelations he has made. But he has taken a bold step to reveal the secret because he is not going to withstand exactly what will transpire and happen if Bola Metinimbu presidency is not dismissed. He went further to state he is a close pal of Tinimbu he asserted and that available factual data as aggregated from several independent sources indicated that P2B got the majority votes while Atiku came second in the election. Look at how he has revealed and exposed Bola Metinimbu. I believe with this, Bola Metinimbu and his supporters will be shocked over hearing this recent information from someone who is working with them. According to him, recently, he said Tinimbu came a distance third in the number of votes scored. In a strong worded statement he issued on Tuesday, he stated it outrightly, I have resisted the temptation to engage in the temporary political dis discourse since the May 2023 election result was recorded. Now you cannot see, he stated he cannot be, he has resisted whatever temptation and all the juicy bribery given by, by, by Bola Metinimba and APC. He has resisted them and he has come out to speak the truth. And that is why he will stand to live long because this is exactly what he has stated. In his essence ways, he went further to state, I did this for reasons. The first being that as an active player in the drama, I needed time to analyze and digest the data that led to the outcomes so I could arrive at an informed decision. Seriously speaking, this is unbelievable. He went further to state the current topical issues for political discourse and inquiry are whether or not Bola Tinimbu won the presidential election and or that he was qualified to participate in the election given his bio data that are fraudulent as is now being publicly unveiled daily as this has recently broke the camel's back as he made this statement in his exact ways. My answer to the first inquiry is that regardless of whatever Independent National Electoral Commission or a P court said or did, 
Bola Tinibu did not win the election. And this is exactly what he has stated. A lot of persons who are so inquisitive of knowing the person that made this revelation and confession is a cabal to Bola Metinimbu. As a matter of fact, he's a former secretary to the government of this federation, being Babachi Alawal. And he has made this confession recently and this has shocked Bola Metinimbu because he never saw this coming. These are recent reactions that emanated from this confession he has made. This reaction from this prominent person has stated that when P2B needed you to prove this in court, where are we are you? A lot of persons have started blaming him for not coming out quick to state the exact truth. Another reaction from this Prominent Angela stated, fact known to every, including Tinimbu. Yes. Another reaction from Advocacy for Good Governance stated, everybody knows the truth, including Tinimbu and Yakubu. Another reaction from Celestine Obi, he stated, we all saw the result, but INEC and Judiciary are still playing with Nigeria future, waiting on Supreme Court to check the result since Presidential Election Petition Tribunal refused to go through the evidence of manipulation of an obese vote. Guys, you have now seen exactly how this man has exposed what transpired between Bola Metinibu and Independent National Commission as how he has asserted that P2B was the outright winner of that very much election. And it is obvious that all that transpired has now been exposed because this is a very factual information because it is coming from the cabal. Someone who worked with Bola Metinimbu in the last presidential election, he is trying to make himself to be justified. React on the comment section. What is your take on this particular exposure made by this prominent man? As you have seen in the reaction where some persons are calling on him to stand in as witness and they await the Supreme Court judgment. And it is now left for the Supreme Court to uphold the Constitution and see all the relevant revelations that has been made and try to make sure that the European Union and the international world sees Nigeria's electoral process as a free, fair and credible place. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when I drop more trending videos.